Well, a group of lawmakers says the Federal Endangered Species Act needs to be updated. Animals like the bald eagle were removed from the list more than a decade ago after the bird came back from the brink of extinction. And these lawmakers say that while the list works in those cases, it's time to take a fresh look at it. But as Drew Petromo reports tonight from Washington, environmental groups say the lawmakers are trying to gut the laws that protect species at risk of extinction. For 45 years, defenders of the Endangered Species Act say it's protected America's iconic wildlife. But a group of lawmakers say now is the time for change. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an eight-track law in a Spotify world. Congressman Bruce Westerman and other members of the Western Caucus say environmental groups use the Endangered Species Act to flood government agencies with lawsuits. This is a perfect example of regulation gone awry. This week, the group filed a series of bills they say will modernize the law, making it easier for land developers, farmers, and energy companies to navigate the rules. The complaints that we're hearing are from, from people who actually aren't sympathetic with the goals of the act. Environmentalists say the reforms make it more difficult to add species to the endangered list and speed the removal of plants and animals still at risk. They argue the Endangered Species Act, as currently structured, is working. It has protected 99% of the species listed uh, from going extinct. There's a lot of problems. The Western Caucus sees it differently, pointing out only 2% of species listed as endangered are ever removed from the list. The way the system is right now, it's not working and we're not helping uh, species. Environmentalists and lawmakers say they want the same thing protection for endangered species. Their different approaches are now up for debate in Congress. In Washington, I'm Drew Petromo. Now, this is a big issue here in the state of Texas. Some of the most significant cases involve a bird and salamanders. There's an ongoing legal fight to remove the golden-cheeked warbler from the list. A study out of Texas A&M shows the bird's numbers are growing. The bird only lives in central Texas. Wildlife conservationists say the birds need to remain protected because they keep losing their homes to development in the area. There is a similar situation for the number of salamanders. The Austin Blind Salamander, the Barton Springs Salamander, and a few others only live in Central Texas as well. However, the animals have caused delays in developments in Travis and Williamson counties. There's an ongoing lawsuit claiming that TxDOT missed steps to protect these salamanders during the MOPAC improvement project.